Hey guys, what's up? It's Funkles Unky. So welcome to my solo Ceridoman melee guide. In this guide I'm going to show you how to kill Ceridoman with melee with no one else there. Of course you can use this guide also for a duo if you and a friend want to go and you both want to try it. Just take a similar setup. You can do the exact same thing with a friend or two. You can even do this um, with a friend who's using magic, but this is for the melee setup for Armadale or for Ceridoman. So first of all we're going to be going over the gear and inventory before we actually head over there and start killing the boss. Um, so in my pack yak, or if you don't have a pack yak in your war tortoise, you just want to fill it full of food. And just keep in mind that this is a very high requirements boss. So if you don't have at least, I would say 90 defense, 90 attack strength, and 95 prayer, 96 herbal, it's going to be very, very difficult to solo this. But uh, in your inventory, you want overloads, prayer renewals, some prayer potions. You don't need a ton of them. Um, some more food. I bring a pack yak and scrolls to bake the rune items that Ceridoman drops. Uh, tab out is always nice. And for your actually equipment, um, you want to be using a melee top and bottom. This is not the most important part since Ceridoman uses primarily magic attacks is what you're going to be damaged by. And uh, melee armor gives no defense against magic, so it's not super important that you need Tetsu, you can wear Bandos or um, Torvo or something like that. And for a cape, wear a max cape if you don't have a max cape or a skill cape. Um, for a top, I would recommend a mage hood like a uh, Virtus hood or a superior sea Seasunger's hood is great. Amulet of Fury. I use the Dragor Mace and Offhand Dragor Longsword because the Dragor Mace has the 9 prayer bonus and the Offhand Dragor Longsword is just awesome. Um, boots, I wear Rage Fire boots, I'd recommend those. And I have a Scrimshaw Vampirism. Uh, you make want to make sure that you have this because it does help out quite a bit with healing. And also an Aura of Vampirism. Or you can also bring a Penance Aura. That works as well. And then I have Virtus Gloves because you want ma Magic Defense Gloves. And also something that provides protection against all the monsters in the God Wars. So any next item will do. And then for my ring I have a 6 aid Circuit. You can swap this out for a Ring of Wealth. So in the next clip, I'm going to be in the boss room showing you how to kill it. And uh, it is quite easy. Once you get the hang of it, you can do most of your kills with using no food. You just want to make sure that you follow um, what I'm doing to kill the boss exactly. And about, I would say, 80 to 90% of your kills you will not even need to eat on. Hey everyone, I'm back in the Ceridoman encampment boss room. So, we are about to start the solo Ceridoman kill with melee. Just before she spawns, make sure that everything is correct, so make sure you are potted up. Make sure your Vampirism Scrimshaw and Vampirism Aura are activated. Uh, make sure that you didn't forget anything, I guess. And uh, as soon as you start the kill, um, the basic gist of it is you don't even want to worry about your thresholds at all. Only focus on the basic abilities. What we're trying to do here is get up to Berserk as fast as possible. and with luck and as long as you hit correctly and everything you should be able to kill her in one berserk um, if you get a bit lucky with your abilities you can get up to 20 second kills while doing this uh, you can't it's hard to do that every single time but you can kill her extremely quickly so as soon as you have the berserk up and you get to 50 percent adrenaline use your destroy ability and the kill is pretty much over just like that very easy um, the main thing to worry about here is if you don't hit very well um, and Sarah Doman gets lucky with some of her magic attacks she can deal quite a bit of damage uh, but other than that that's the only concern so it should be pretty easy to solo her and if you use the method where you use Guthix's blessing after every kill and then quick hop to a new world um, you can do this without the use of any food However, uh, pretty much every single world on my friends list right now is taken. I checked so many, so I just said, screw it, I'm just going to stick with this world. Um, but you can also always use the regenerate ability to regenerate a little bit of health after each kill, but after that kill, I got uh, full health, so nothing to worry about. And a nice War Priest cape here, not bad. Anyway, that's going to do it for this melee guide of how to kill Ceridoman. Please let me know if it helped. And also, if you would like to see some sort of Ceridoman loot video, leave that in the comments because I might be up to doing something like that because this boss is pretty fun. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was informative. And uh, farewell.
One thing that you really want to do here if you are doing pretty good on health in between kills is you just want to use uh, adrenaline stall abilities. There's three abilities that you can use to basically keep your adrenaline at max between kills. They're the escape ability or the surge ability from the magic spellbook, um, the anticipation ability from the defensive ability spellbook, and the freedom ability from the defensive ability spellbook. And you just want to, um, every time your character goes out of his combat stats, immediately stance immediately use one of these abilities um, and that's going to keep your adrenaline at max uh, so that will really help so you can use berserk much earlier on in the kill um, when you're at very high health so that's just a little tip that you can probably use as well that's the end of this guide so anyway farewell ooh what's this little item an armadillo crossbow that's cool i've never had one of those before hey nice little surprise